Today I'm guiding you through a short, sweet, feel-good hamstring release session. You'll need one stick, and I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get your stick mobility sticks along with a discount code. My goal in this workout is to give you at least one exercise that really works for you, that you take away and add into your regular routine. So let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, share this with your friends and family, and don't forget to come back to this stick mobility playlist for more. These exercises are perfect for a recovery day or when you're feeling like you really need to get some extra stretching in because your hamstrings are just screaming at you. So we're going straight into it because they're all stretchy. So grabbing the stick, you're going to bring your feet, they don't have to touch, but you really want them to be pretty close to one another. Bringing that stick into your hand, we're going to do three reps here. So I want you to really push up and away from your body. If you need a little bit of a wider grip, feel free, right? So again, uh, anywhere from hip width to a little bit wider, whatever feels right for you today. So push down, up and away, open up those shoulders, maybe look up for just a moment. Inhale, on that exhale, you're going to fold over. I really want you to stretch as far forward until you come down to the ground, nice and gently. Trying to keep those legs straight for right now. Inhale, and you're gonna exhale, twist over to the side, push that front hand, end of the stick down to the ground. Come back to center. Other side, push that front hand and stick down to the ground. Come back to center, bend your knees, inhale, exhale, reach up, open up. Here we go, we've got two more just like that. And exhale, fold over, really kind of waterfall as far forward as you possibly can. Let that head fall down. We get one nice breath here. And then we're gonna reach over to the side, push that front hand end of the stick down to the ground. Really get a nice little twist over to the other side. Twist. Coming back to center, bend your knees, reach up, open up. One more, just like that. Waterfall yourself forward. Maybe you notice that your hands are now touching the ground. You've got the stick down onto the ground. Twist, front side of the stick touches down. If you get both sides touching down, that's great, but it's not necessary. You're really just trying to get a little twist. Coming back up to center, bend the knees, reach up, stretch up, and bring that stick down to your hips. Now we're going to do the same basic moves, but in a wide stance. So if you really felt that in your hamstrings, you can always open up your stance a little bit more. And again, you're just going as wide as is comfortable to you today, right? Every day is different. And you'll really feel the difference in how this hits your hamstrings just by changing your stance. So play with it if that's what feels right for you today. So again, my Hands are a little more than a hip width apart. I'm going to reach up, open up, look up towards the ceiling, and fall forward. Push those hips back behind you. One nice big inhale. Still thinking about relaxing your legs, keeping them straight if you can. And this time, we're going to bring that stick in between your legs. That bottom, the uh, back side of the stick touches down onto the ground and then switch. Bottom side of the stick touches down that back side. Coming back, bend your knees, reach up, open up. Two more just like that. Fold forward. Take a breath here. Just allow, try to relax those quads. And then bringing that stick through your legs. 
backside end touches down. Return to center, other side. Return to center, bend the knees, reach up wide. One more, just like that. Fold forward. Bring that stick through your legs, push down, back behind you. Return to center, switch, push down behind you. You'll notice how it kind of pulls you back towards your legs, just a little bit. Coming back to center, bend the knees, reach up overhead, and come back down. Heel toe those legs together. I did not mention, but I'm using this shorter stick because of my space. If you have a longer one, totally fine. This is just what seems to work best for me. So if you have a longer stick, feel free to use that, especially if you're taller than me, I'm five nine. So coming into an even stance, already feeling my hamstrings definitely a little more loose and lubricated. We're gonna be in an even stance. I'm gonna start on my right leg facing forward and then I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see the other side from a side angle, okay? So even stance for your feet. You're gonna bring one foot, my right foot, is gonna dorsiflex. I kinda of want it to be, I want my heel to be in line with my other toes or maybe even just a little bit in front so that when I lean forward, I'm gonna have this leg be straight, my right leg, and I'm gonna bend my left, okay? So, I'm gonna bring this stick back behind me, right, we're in that even stance. I might need to take a step forward here, just again, because of my space. So, heel is lifted, I'm dorsiflexing my right foot, I'm gonna hinge forward. So I have a nice soft bend in my left leg, and my right leg is straight. And I'm gonna try and tap the stick down. You can think about pulling the stick maybe 30% apart. It doesn't have to be a lot. And I'm gonna try and reach down in this hinge. Woo! And then switching sides. You get that stick, the end of the stick, to wherever is comfortable for you today. It might be on the inside of the foot, it might be on the outside. Here we go again. Whatever works for you, you wanna add on, just kinda of pull your shoulder up towards the ceiling. Let's go for one more on this side. Pull up, keeping that bend in the left leg and straightening that front, uh, right leg. And then hinge back up. Take a second, you'll feel the difference in that. So I'm gonna do the left side facing sideways so that you can see from a different angle. So stick is behind my back. My left foot is gonna be dorsiflexed. It's either in line with my right big toe or maybe a little bit before it, right? In front of it. So now I'm gonna bend that right leg, hinge forward. So I have a really nice hamstring stretch just doing this. Thinking about pulling that stick maybe 30% apart. I'm gonna tap the stick down towards the ground. Other side, try to keep my torso in line, like it's not even moving. The stick is the only thing that's really moving right here. And to the other side. One more on each side. And then standing back upright. Whew. Definitely feel that. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna bring that stick to 12 o'clock. So it's right, I love this map because it gives me the lines. I don't even have to think too hard about it. So again, I'm in this even stance. My right leg is gonna be dorsiflexed first. 
and by switching my arms. So again, I want you to think about the arms are moving, but the torso, the bulk of my body is going to stay in place. Okay? So right foot is dorsiflexed, nice soft bend in the left leg. I'm going to hinge, reach down with my left hand, reaching high. I'm just going to try and twist a little bit with that stick. And now I'm going to switch my grip and twist open the other way. Reach and switch. One more. And come back up, stand up. Here's the thing. If you notice that when you're doing this move, you end up pushing your toes out to the side, right? I'm here, instead of being facing forward with those toes pulling up towards the ceiling, they start to turn outward, right? I'm externally rotating my hip right here. Then you know you should just not go as deep into this. Then all of a sudden you're staying here, maybe, a little more upright, and it can be a smaller movement. But you want to try and keep your foot facing forward and not turning out, at least for this one. So we're just going to do a nice little quad stretch because it feels really good. We're doing so much hamstring release that the quads are probably kind of yelling at you right now. They're like, what about me? I need some love too, right? So using that stick just as an assist to give you extra stability. And doing this nice little quad stretch for, we'll say three to five breaths. Another thing about packing those shoulders down. And release. I'm going to turn to the side. And we're doing the same exercise now on the left foot. So left foot is dorsiflexed. I have a nice soft bend in my right leg. I'm going to hinge forward. Left hand is high, right hand is low and I twist open. Really thinking about keeping that foot facing forward. So if it starts to go out, you know, you just need to come up a little bit. You don't need to be as deep in this stretch, but just still feel it. Last one. And then push that stick down to stand back up. Whew, that deserves a quad stretch. Holding in the stick in my right hand. Thinking about pushing my knee facing down towards the ground. If it's out here, you probably may need to grab onto a wall so you can get an extra assist on this quad stretch. One more exercise. And now we're getting into a little bit of nerve flossing too. So very much the same positioning. I'm going to start on the right, facing forward. Stick is at 12 o'clock. We're pushing the stick down into the ground, maybe 30%. It does not have to be a lot. I'm going to dorsiflex that right foot. Nice soft bend in my left. My right hand will be at the top of the stick as I hinge forward and this time we're flossing because we're going to be moving the stick in the opposite direction as the foot so this time you are able to move your foot outward and inward right just as much as you can and is comfortable for you so i'm in this position i'm going to bring the stick across my body across this foot and i'm going to turn that stick internally rotate towards my body and then we're going to switch and go out. So the stick goes away from the foot. The foot goes away from the body. Here we go again. Internally rotate. Try and keep my body otherwise 
in line. Just the foot and the hands are moving, right? One more. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. So this is a great angle to see that my body is staying in line with basically where the bottom of this stick is. If you're doing this and you can see that my line is not the same, you know that you're going too far and you need to come out of that a little bit and just stay where you can stay controlled and in this line, right? Same thing here. This doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. All I need to do is come back to center and only go as far as my body allows me to twist in this opposite direction. So now we're going to do just a nice little figure four again to give some love oh, to the piriformis and to the glutes. I love that I can use this stick for these kinds of exercises too, just because it gives me extra stability. I don't even have to think about it when I'm holding onto the stick, right? I don't have to search for the wall. I can just breathe and try to bend into it even more. And come up. We're gonna switch over to the left side. I'm gonna turn my body so that you can see in this other direction. Feet are hip width apart. I'm pushing that stick down into the ground, maybe 30%. I have a nice dorsiflexed foot on my left side. Nice soft bend of the knees on the right. Hinge forward. And then cross floss. Internally rotate. Push the stick out to the side. Externally rotate. Stick goes away from the foot. Internal rotation of the foot, stick goes across that foot. External rotation of the foot, stick goes away from the foot. One more on each side. And then push up to standing. A little bit harder to see that sort of break in the line of your body from this side, but it's a good reference, I think. So coming into that, oh, this side is harder, into that figure four, just for a moment, take a couple of nice, beautiful breaths here. <sighs> Give yourself some love for showing up and taking care of your body, exploring how you're feeling today and what's going on. And come out and really allowing yourself the time to Get to know what's going on and then give yourself, your body, whatever kind of love or support or stretch that it might need today. Thanks so much for being here. I love doing these stick mobility videos for you. Please, if you like this video, leave a, a hit that like button, click the uh, bell to subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, anything, anybody you think would help and be served from this kind of movement. And don't forget to come back to this stick mobility playlist for more.